Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this, we are going to discuss some of the questions around the relative to feature. There are a couple of important questions that may appear in the exam. I feel you should go through them. So let's see what is our first question. The first question is, when is the relative to feature useful in activities involving indicate wizard? So it is basically asking you when the relative to feature should be used. And here are your different options. Let me read the option A. When you want to replace this table target with a dynamic one. Option B. When you want to select an area not identified by the computer vision. If the computer vision is not able to identify one of the UI element or choose a general area without specifying a UI element. Let's say you want to type something in a specific area of a notepad or a Word document, right? So is this the right answer? Option C, when you need to enhance the accuracy of the computer vision, detection for a specific UI element, should you use for this reason? D, when this table element is unnecessary for the selection. Now tell me, out of A, B, C, D, which is the right answer? Pause the video here and start commenting your answers. So do comment, you know, whatever you feel, start commenting your answers. It doesn't matter if you go wrong or right, doesn't matter. Start writing the answers. Okay, so let me reveal the answer. The answer is B. When you want to select an area not identified by the computer vision engine. Okay, or Choose a general area without specifying you. So this is the right answer. Now, where do you find this documentation? I'm going to pass this specific link in the description of the video and go through this relative to feature. Okay, if you go through this, you would find this answer at the bottom. Look at here. So unless the computer vision cannot detect a certain UI element, if computer vision fails to detect a certain UI element in your application, right? There, there is no need to use the relative feature. So it's saying unless, if it is not able to detect, then you should use relative to feature. So here the right answer is B, when you want to select an area not identified by the computer vision engine, okay? Or to choose a general area without specifying a UI element. If you go through that paragraph, you will find this as your right answer. Let me go through the second question. In which activities can you use single point selection with the relative to feature? So there are two different areas. One is single point selection. The other one is area selection, right? So in which activities can you use single point selection? Here are the option. CV type into, CV get text, CV hover, CV click, CV click, CV over, CV type into, or the option D, CV get text, or CV click. Okay, so now looking at this options, now tell me what is your right answer. So comment your answer. So let me reveal the answer. The answer is CV click, CV hover, and CV type into. This all are single point selection. That means when you use them, when you click on the relative to, you can only click on a single point, you cannot select an area. Now, where do you find the documentation? On the same link, if I slightly scroll up. Okay, so here if you see, CV click, CV over, CV type into, single point selection is normally placed. So what is single point selection? That means you can, let's say I want to click here, or I want to type from here, uh, right? So here, if I, it will only give a single point selection. From there, it will start working, or this is your target, point. Now what is uh, area selection? Area selection means you can select a bigger area. You can draw that rectangle. Okay. And this is only possible when you use CB get text. So let's go back to the question. So if you look at the question, it is just asking single point selection. So single point selection, CV click, CV hover, CV type into. Get text means area selection okay so thank you guys for watching i hope you got all the questions right so please do comment and i would love to read them so let's meet once again in our next content